Hi, this is Anthony with a review on Firefox 35, which was released on January 13, 2015. Uh, this is the first rapid release update from Mozilla in 2015, so let's review some of the notable changes. There's not much in terms of new features uh, in this update, uh, they're mostly improvements. Uh, one thing you will always find in these updates are bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities, and in this particular update, uh, there were over 3,500 bug fixes. So, first let's take a look at some of the improvements um, that were made in Firefox Hello. Now Firefox Hello is a new online voice and video chat service that Mozilla introduced in Firefox 34 which is similar to Skype and um, Firefox Hello now has room based um, online chat functionality and I'll explain that in a moment. So this is the uh, Firefox Hello button or icon and if you click on it uh, you will notice that um, you will see this drop down box and as you can see it allows you to create uh, you know a conversation or chat rooms uh, you can also create uh, you know name them and create as many as you as you like uh, and as you can see uh, it creates each chat room or, or conversation room has a unique URL um, if you hover your mouse uh, over any of these chat rooms or conversation rooms you will notice that there are two icons uh, the first one right here is the the blue one is the copy. If you just, you know, click on it, it'll copy the uh, the URL, and the red button or icon is the delete icon. In case you want to delete a specific um, conversation room, and to start a conversation, conversation, you basically just click this uh, start a conversation button. So Firefox Hello is still in uh, in beta, uh, so you can expect you know expect to see more changes and improvements. Um, I would personally like to see functionality to allow multiple people to join uh, in the conversation sort of simultaneously. Um, I've used this uh, Firefox Hello. It's not as robust as Skype at this point in time, but uh, you know I'm I'm sure you will continue to see enhancements because, as I said, it's still in beta. So if you can't find this Firefox Hello button, uh, you know, on the toolbar, uh, you can check this video tutorial of mine on how to get the uh, icon on your toolbar. And I've also got another tutorial um, on how to use Firefox Hello. All right, so let's move on. So one new icon that you may notice on your toolbar in Firefox 35 is a share um, share this page icon, which looks uh, like a you know paper um, airplane. And this is related to the social API feature that was first introduced by Mozilla way back in 2012. Uh, this service was enhanced in 2013 by including additional providers like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and others. And uh, this feature allows you feature allows you to uh, to see uh, you know the social activity of your friends in the right side uh, bar of your of your browser, or in this case Firefox. And in order to use the service, you need to activate it. So if you click on this. Uh, uh, share this page icon you will notice this um, you know pop-up uh, box asking you to activate it and if you click on this button that says take me there uh, it'll bring you to this page that displays uh, you know uh, the, all the services available and as you can see uh, there are you know many social providers like uh, Facebook and Google Plus and LinkedIn um, Twitter and uh, and many others uh, as you've seen so for example if you want to activate uh, let's say Twitter uh, you know you'd click on the, the share button here and it will take you directly to the Twitter activation page and then you basically just click this activate now button so once uh, your Twitter service is activated uh, you can click on uh, the share button again and as you can see uh, you know it'll directly uh, give it the share um, sort of dialog box or pop up that uh, allows you to tweet directly from um, from the browser rather than having to go to uh, the Twitter website. So similarly you know you can activate other social networks that are available and the, and the ones that you use. Okay so let's move on. So in Firefox 35 you, uh, you can now access the Firefox marketplace via the tools menu uh, or by using this little icon um, which is called the Discover Apps icon uh, directly on your toolbar. So um, if you click on that, uh, you know, it'll take you directly to the Firefox Marketplace, um, which is a marketplace for, um, you know, HTML5 applications that support, um, you know, the Firefox uh, uh, operating system. And as you can see, there are, you know, many of these uh, applications. 
all apps. So other changes in Firefox 35 include um, the, uh, the following. So there's a new um, search user interface uh, that has been enabled for uh, you know more locales. Uh, initially, it was implemented only for the US English locale. Um, there is now built-in support for H.264 or MP4 uh, on uh, Mac operating system, X Snow Leopard uh, 10.6, and new versions. And um, there's improved, um, uh, you know, high-quality image resizing performance. Uh, for developers, uh, you know, Firefox has included support for uh, inspecting uh, the before and after pseudo um, elements. The CSS filters are now enabled by default, and there are a few other changes. Um, you can basically just check the um, Firefox 35 release notes for a full list of uh, changes, and I will leave um, um, a link in the description section of this YouTube video. So as usual, um, you know, I ran a browser benchmark test using Peacekeeper to compare Firefox uh, with Google Chrome, and uh, this time I was quite impressed uh, with the results. Uh, you know, which showed significant improvement. Uh, and most of my uh, browser test comparisons uh, with Google Chrome, uh, you know, Google Chrome has pretty much always outperformed Firefox. Uh, but you can, as you can see from the results, um, they're pretty close this time. So Firefox has uh, kind of caught on, you know, caught up with uh, Google Chrome. Uh, I personally use both these browsers. Um, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to like Firefox, you know, much more. So these were, you know, some of the updates, obviously, um, or uh, some of the key updates, I should say, uh, in Firefox 35. I uh, hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And um, you'll find many more uh, Firefox help tutorials and reviews on my YouTube channel. And uh, as usual, if you've got any questions, you know, you can just uh, leave them in the comment section. And I will respond as uh, soon as possible. All right, thanks for stopping by.